people come here and they'll say, can we touch the animals? You know, can we feed the animals? And when you come here, you can touch the animals. You can rub them until your arms fall off if you like. You get to interact with them and see what amazing animals they really are. And hopefully it'll be a life-changing experience as well. Our mission at Ruderville is encouraging compassion and inspiring change. And we do that by sharing these farm animals and their lives before they came to Ruderville and then their life now that they're at Ruderville. And hope that that inspires people to take a look at what they're eating and how they're living to make kinder choices. You know, we can't rescue all the animals that need help, but one person changing their diet to a plant-based diet will save about 100 animals a year. And that is profound and significant. This is 30 acres of property with 177 pigs. We have cows, goats, ducks, chickens. We're here to save as many lives as possible. People will come here and have no idea how much uh, there is to know about a pig. You know, they'll come and they won't realize they know their names, you know, they sit for treats, how smart they are, how friendly. I would have never thought a pig could be just as cuddly as a dog. It's seeing little kids smile and you know start learning about animals and then that being passed on and even adults you know um, it turns into families coming just to visit for the day and then they're coming back the following week to volunteer. For people that especially haven't been to a place like this they come in and they don't think a thousand pound farm pig can love like they do and understand people like they do until they get here and it's amazing to see the change on their faces and then when they leave they have this whole new mindset about conservation, sanctuary work, rescue work. The inspiration for Ruderville came when we were contacted about rescuing Stella who is the absolute inspiration for what we're doing here today and what we've been doing for over 15 years. Stella was a gestation sow. She lived her life in a crate the size of her body. Stella fell out of a transport truck on her way to the slaughterhouse. She ended up with some serious wounds, probably was left for dead. A rescue person was trying to find someone that would take her. No one would take Stella. So we ended up taking her in and she was absolutely the opposite of everything that I thought, everything that I expected. She was amazing. And she was so cute. She could be anywhere on the farm and I would just come out and just say, Stella, I just call her name. And wherever she was, she would get up and she would you know, shake herself off and then she'd start looking around like, where is she, where is she, where is she? And so because of Stella and the stereotypes that I had growing up around farms, I wanted to share her and what these animals are really like with everyone. I think it's important for people to realize, you know, how their meat is formed. The factory farming is cruel. I think it's important for people to realize, you know, some of these pigs and some of these turkeys have come from falling off of trucks on the way to slaughter. The injuries, you know, the trauma, and then how forgiving they can actually be. We don't try and force anything on anybody. We just try and spread the word to make people aware of, you know, not only what it's doing to the animals, but what it's doing to yourself. So that's our goal is to let people know that it's not so much about what you eat, it's about saving animals too, because I mean, without these animals, our planet wouldn't be the way it is. We need these animals to eat certain things and bugs to eat certain things so that we can survive and have a healthy planet. We're destroying that. So I think it's really important, whether people change over or not, I think it's important for them to know what's really going on. Most people don't get to walk by an actual farm pig. They don't understand how huge they are and, and how amazing creatures they are. But look how sweet. Again, it's magic. This is not, this doesn't happen everywhere. You know, what a gem for Clay County uh, and for, for this part of the county to have a place where farm animals that need a home can come to and, you know, a wonderful opportunity for, for residents in Clay County and, and the surrounding counties. Having an operation like this is very expensive. We've got a beautiful property. Uh, people don't realize how expensive, but just our feed is about $5,000 a month just for feed. And then vet expenses, we never know. That's always the wild card. But, you know, we have to have a staff to take care of these animals. They need care, so they need people that are making sure they have fresh water, making sure they're fed every day, making sure that their needs are being met. It's a lot, and volunteers are crucial. My wife and daughter, we've all been doing this about two plus years now, and they, uh, they're a little bit more of the, the touchy-feely with the animals, where Elaine, she needs a lot of help with the bigger projects. So bush hogging fields, digging wallows, repairing fences, underwater pipes. So, uh, you know, for me, that, that's where I get my satisfaction. Having a place like this where it's outdoor, it's open, it's full of nature, 
to come and it really doesn't feel like work when you're out here. Yeah, because you're truly out here because you enjoy it. So our website is ruderville.org. Information about Ruderville, you're gonna meet some of our animals. You're gonna find out how you can get involved, how you can donate, because we really need the support of our community. We think what we're doing here is valuable. Um, and we hope that folks in our community think so as well. It's an eye-opener for people. I love it when I can just encourage someone who's never been around pigs or these types of animals to just go up there and pet them and be like, you know, you can hug them, you can give them belly rubs. It's really mind-blowing for people and I love seeing their reactions. It's great to be able to save an animal's life and I wish I could save them all, I really do. But sharing them with the people and seeing that reaction and maybe being out in public and having a Ruderville shirt on and having somebody say, oh, I've been to Ruderville. I love it when people tell me, oh, you know, I don't eat pigs anymore or I don't eat meat anymore. I mean, that just puts me over the top. Where else can you go and be around an animal like this. People that live close to us are so fortunate they can come and have this experience.